Science 6, Quarter 2, Module 2. Lesson 2. The Circulatory System. Don't forget to subscribe! The circulatory system is one of the most important systems in the human body. It transports the needed blood and nutrients in the body. It consists of the heart, blood, and blood vessels. The circulatory system is a transport system of the body. It is responsible for the distribution of blood and other nutrients throughout the body. It is made up of heart, blood, and blood vessels. There are three types of blood vessels which are veins, arteries, and capillaries. These vessels carry oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in the body. The circulatory system blood the blood is the liquid part that is constantly flowing throughout the body it is composed of a liquid part called plasma and the solid parts of formed components which are the red blood cells white blood cells and platelets the red blood cells also known as erythrocytes transport gases to and from the cells the white blood cells or leukocytes, play a vital role in the body's immune system. They fight bad bacteria, viruses and others that cause infection. The last formed components are the platelets or thrombocytes. They are the smallest of formed components of blood that help in blood clotting. Blood Vessels the blood vessels are the vast networks of small tubes that carry blood throughout the body. The arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart. Veins carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. The capillaries are the smallest blood vessels which serve as a connection between arteries and veins. When blood passes through them, oxygen, food nutrients, and wastes pass in and out through capillary walls. Blood circulation. The circulatory system has two types of circulation. The pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulation is the movement of deoxygenated blood from the heart and into the lungs. The systemic circulation is the movement of oxygenated blood from the heart to the different parts of the body. Heart The heart is known as the pumping organ of the body. It keeps the blood moving throughout the body and the average heartbeat of human is 60 to 100 times per minute. It has four chambers. The left and right atrium which are responsible for receiving used blood coming from all parts of the body and the left and right ventricles known as the pumping chambers. When it contracts, oxygen-rich blood is forced away from the heart for the distribution to the different parts of the body. Between atrium and ventricles are valves, the overlapping tissue that allows blood to flow in one direction.
Right side of the heart. Blood enters the heart through two large veins, the inferior and superior vena cava, emptying oxygen poor blood from the body into the right atrium of the heart. As the atrium contracts, blood flows from your right atrium into your right ventricle through the open tricuspid valve. When the ventricle is full, the tricuspid valve shuts. This prevents blood from flowing backward into the atria while the ventricle contracts. As the ventricle contracts, blood leaves the heart through the pulmonic valve, into the pulmonary artery and to the lungs where it is oxygenated. Note that oxygen poor or carbon dioxide containing blood goes through the pulmonary artery to the lungs where carbon dioxide is exchanged for oxygen. Left side of the heart, operating at the same time as the right side of the heart. The pulmonary vein empties oxygen-rich blood from the lungs into the left atrium of the heart. As the atrium contracts, blood flows from the left atrium into the left ventricle through the open mitral valve. When the ventricle is full, the mitral valve shuts. This prevents blood from flowing backward into the atrium while the ventricle contracts. As the ventricle contracts, oxygen-rich blood leaves the heart through the aortic valve, into the aorta to the arteries and eventually into the veins to complete the blood circulation in the body. The circulatory system is a good example of how body systems interact with each other to keep the body alive. Each organ of the system works together to circulate blood throughout the body. Thanks for watching.